everyone, this is Jen and this is my PLL recap for 609, Last Dance. Now the episode starts off where all the girls are finding out that the Board of Education, or the, actually the school board, had sent emails out about, um, about the girls being uninvited to prom. Or pretty much, they were worried about their safety and the safety of others, so they're like, eh, don't show up. And uh, they're pretty much bitching about that. They all got together in the coffee shop, and, and they're discussing things like that. And I can't... What is PLL trying to cater to Loris and fans with Emily being a-okay about, Oh, it's alright, Allie. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Fuck that shit. What the fuck? Anyways. So, they're all bitching about this prom, and, and it was suggested that uh, Victoria, Spencer's mom, was going to have their little prom and the barn in the backyard, which they're all just like, eh. So, <clears throat> we find out that Aria actually, um, the judges actually really did review her real photos, not the ones that Charles put up, and she won first place. So, she will be going to L.A. the first Monday after graduation. So, yay! Anyways, I thought this episode was going to be more action-packed. But not really. Um, we had Charles contact uh, Allison and be like, hey, you need to show up this prom so we can dance. Yay! But uh, it was all, you know, all the other girls met up in Spencer's barn and they're like, yeah, let's take pictures and this sucks. But um, they end up going to the real prom anyways. But I think the most exciting part about this episode, when all the moms were hanging out in the kitchen and they're all getting drunk and they're like, Oh, uh, Spencer's mom was like, that stupid slut dying in my backyard, fucking up my tulips, and having illegitimate kids with every fucking guy. So, um, I liked, uh, she got feisty. I like that. They're all hot. The whole mom thing. I thought that was cool. And, uh, how about Beach Hottie and Emily talking in Hannah's kitchen? That was hot right there. Just like crack shit. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, um, Caleb, Caleb, <laughs> Caleb, uh, sort of lies to Hannah, and he's not going to be at prom because he's having to leave to New York to teach his dad to be a nerd on the computer. So, but he ends up meeting Hannah later at prom, and apparently he, he got a job offer with a company to stop hackers before they hack shit. So, he was explaining to her that uh, her tuition is going to be paid, and they're going to have a nice place, and... Yeah, I guess that's good for them. Whatever. Alright. Now, after the last episode, everyone was suspecting Clark of being suspicious. Um, when Allison doesn't show up at Spencer's little prom, the girls... Uh, it's like an Instagram thing that they see Allison in one of the pictures. And they're like, oh, let's go get her. So they go all go to their prom, the real prom. And they track her down, and Allison pretty much wastes time just trying to find Charles the whole time. And the girls, um, they pretty much waste time keeping track of Allie the whole time, so whatever. But, um, Sarah ends up showing up and dancing with Emily, and it's like the most un non gayest dance ever. Like, all the other couples are like, uh. And then you got Semily, Sarah. Why do I keep saying Semily? These people in these threads have been confusing me. It's fucking Sarah Lee. But they keep throwing Semily in our faces that I now I'm just fucking confused. Or it's actually showerly. But uh and then you see M and Sarah like this. Like arms distance dancing. Uh, I love you. But um anyways, everybody's looking at Clark as being shady. He's not. He's actually an undercover cop that was actually trying to protect Allison. But, of course, everybody fucks that up like they always do. Sarah, now. Now, I got a theory because, uh, and, like, I didn't, I slowly started, like, piecing this together after somebody mentioned it in the thread because it sort of lines up now. Um, since there's two, three, four, or five, however many fucking red coats. I definitely think Sarah's one. Um, she acts way too... Well, besides the whole shower thing. She acts way too normal for someone that's been captive for like three years. Right? Okay, now let's think of this. Remember when 
when Emily went to go check to see if Sarah had a chip, right? And as soon as she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then, anyways, they kiss. So, you know, that was sort of a big distraction. And Emily never really got to find out if Sarah had a chip. Or maybe it was mentioned last episode. Or I think the girls asked, and she's like, I don't know. But either way. So, I don't think Sarah ever had a chip. Was I mentioned last episode? Fuck it. I don't remember. But I don't think Sarah ever had a chip. Okay. And then, I think it was last episode when uh, Sarah was just like, what'd she say? Whatever she said. But the way the way the camera focuses, and the way that Sarah's like, oh, Emily, and and, and, and she brings her hands back here, and, and wraps them around her face, and they kiss, and the way the camera pans, I think that Sarah was trying to See, the chip was still there. But, of course, Emily smashed it. So, I think Sarah is still working for Charles or CC or whoever the fuck. And, uh, she's one of the red coats. And I just... That's a sneaky bitch. And everybody was suspecting Clark because he was running into abandoned dollhouse warehouses. So. Anyways. I do not like Spencer trying to support this Pedo cop with Allison. It's gross. He needs to go already. And anyways, I hope, man, that motherfucking old dusty ass got dragged all over Instagram and Twitter. Damn, that motherfucker. Anyways, that was pretty funny. That was like the best. <laughs> that was more dramatic than PLO. So anyways, that shit's a whole different story, but it was funny. Um... So we come to the end of the episode, and that's when uh, Charles pretty much tells Allison that, hey, your time's almost up, you better hurry up and find me. So, I don't know why they have all these, like, immaculate, fucking mysterious trails all through prom. Like, we never had that shit. Like, those, it's so secluded that people could be having sex in there and nobody ever know. Like, we never had that shit at prom. We never had... You don't even see that shit in haunted houses. But anyways. So, um, he lures Allison away. And she thinks... There's... She passes by, and there's a red coat back here. But she never sees that red coat. Or, well, actually, it's like a cloak. Or whatever. So, anyway, she keeps on going and going. And then there's, like, a red cloak on this, uh, coat rack. And she goes, and she's like, Charles! And then the mirror fucking falls and shatters. So, for whatever reason, she goes around, it's like, this wall, and she goes around the wall, and that's when Charles texts her again, and he says, um, what does he say? Surprise! Or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said. So anyways, next thing you see, and he kidnaps her. But it was weird, so I guess he must have let her go, because... It was sort of weird. The next scene that she, that she they show is like Allison screaming, and then she's like just stops, like abruptly stops screaming. I don't know. It was sort of weird. But anyway, she turns around, and she's like, "Charles, is that you?" And uh, I want to talk to you, and blah blah blah. And then he's just like, "You see his black gloves?" And he's like, and then uh, Allison's like, "It's you." Or, wow. It's you, or whatever the fuck. So anyways, that's the end of that. And then the last thing we know about the moms, which, sorry, I sort of skipped that. Going back to the moms real quick so you know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, Veronica gets Veronica gets all drunk and sloppy, and uh, her and the other moms go to the De Laurentiis house to find Ken to be like, why the fuck is your wife such a slut? Or your ex-wife? Because, you know, she's dead. And they don't ever find him. And there was, like, police evidence shit where the picture of uh, Misty, Charles, Allie, and Jason. There's a picture in a little envelope. And then that Reese guy from the Karasimi group comes in. And the moms are like, oh, I think we just met Charles. So he leaves. Or I guess he leaves. His, leaves. And then they start hearing this noise from the vent. So they go into the basement to check what the fuck was going on. And they end up getting locked down there, and this fucking light falls, and none of them bring their phones because they're drunk as fuck, and they forgot, and they try to open this one door to get out, and that was pretty much it for that. So I guess we gotta wait till next episode to see what the hell's going on. And, um, 
Uh, oh yeah. Next Tuesday is the finale. So, I'm ready for that. Hopefully it's not stupid. And where's our Emerson moment? <sighs> Fuck Marlene, what the hell's wrong with you? I just, I don't understand all the bullshit that's been going on on Twitter lately and Instagram and mmm, that motherfucker got dragged, bitch. Anyways, so, um, that's pretty much it. Wait until next episode. Uh, we see Mona again and and I guess they break into somewhere and some security video and blah 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 and it's like it looks like Allie gets kidnapped into Radley and anyways I'm sort of excited I'm ready to see this and and see what the hell's going on I'm ready to be free who the fuck is Charles you know I bet man I don't know I know CC is one badass bitch that's who I want to be a not Charles or whoever the fuck so I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Anyways, until next Tuesday, I will see you again. And y'all have a good night. Peace out.